Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Soul Stones. Last episode we began the game off, we got our starter Pokemon, we made our way to Amity Coast. We have to head to the museum but we took a little detour. Um, I caught a bunch of Pokemon and apparently uh, there was some we missed, some new regional forms. I tried finding the Lillipup that was apparently west of the starting town. Couldn't find it but I did find the Fletchling people mentioned along with the Seal which uh, is water ground and the Fletchling is electric flying so can't be what Talonflame and Dugong look like. Also, apparently the duck that we got has perfect IVs, which is just um, pretty poggers. So, we need to go in here. And I picked up the quest to battle all the kids here. And, oh, got to fight you. Okay. Let's go and do this. Going to fight all the kids. And you have a Snivy. Let's go wing attack. And then we need to head back through the cave. Talk to the guy, because we caught the drowsy. So, hopefully that finished that side quest off. Also, in the cave, there's a... Um, I think it's a Starmie, or a Staryu, that looks uh, kind of cool. Well, from the little, like, sprite in the encounters menu, so I, I kind of want to try and capture one of those if I can find one. I'll show you when we get in there, but I can't really show it at the moment. Let's go with Peck. But any more tips would be much appreciated. So this game, I've been told, not as difficult as Reborn Rejuvenation, which is just great, great. <laughs> not looking for a very difficult game right now. I just want to chill. But it's a bit more challenging than the standard games, which is which is fine. Which is kind of what you want. So, let's go into Froki here. And Charm, that's absolutely fine. We're going to go for Water Pulse. Nice. And why not? Okay. And another Water Pulse. And one more should finish you off. Awesome, is that it? Hey. Okay, next kid. I'm the smartest one in my class. Alright, and you're also about to lose, so... Them smarts ain't gonna get you very far right now, are they? And copycat, you can copycat my wing attack, that's fine. This, uh, this ducklet though. Pretty fun to use. Astonish, that's all good, another wing attack. Awesome. Hey, level 11, and Munchlax, let's go to Drowsy, because it's part fighting. And we'll go for a low kick. Nice. And Tepig, yeah, low kick again. I feel like a sneeze is coming, so I do apologize. <laughs> Bless me. Man, I swear like, I'm allergic to recording sometimes. Sneeze like in every video. Yo, wanna face me in a Pokemon battle? I do. Wanna get the side quest done. All right, Toto Dial, uh, let's just wing attack. And if we do need a grind as well, top of the Pokemon Center, there's uh, some people we can grind against. Oh, E Magby? Hey, is that Ice type? Oh, sweet. Oh, of course you freeze me. Of course you freeze me. Come on, Defrost. Hey. That does so much damage. Of course you get the freeze, though. Of course. Just my luck. Alright, that's Water Pulse. So once we do find a Pokemon Center, I need to just like do a little bit of grinding for the rest of our team because um, everyone's a little bit, you know, levels are just all varied. <laughs> uh, let's switch into Fletchling. I doubt Badoo will kill us or growth. Okay. And then we go for a peck. Nice. And Mantike, uh, we can stay in. Nice Thunder Shock. Okie dokie, and one more Thunder Shock. Level 10, sweet, and quick attack. A few more kids. Yo, look at all these Pokemon I have. Okay, I will. And Torchic, let's wing attack. It's all good, it's all good. Froki, we're gonna get Froggered here very soon. Probably after this battle, if we keep using Froki. But E Bonsley, uh, let's go into Seal. Oh, that looks so cool! Okay, probably not the best Pokemon here because we're water ground. If we can get the flinch over and over, that'd be great. Critical hit. No, Absorb's gonna hurt so bad. I should switch, but flinch! <laughs> no! Oh man, I shouldn't have risked it. It's fine. Oh man. I thought I can get away with it. Got that one flinch in the critical hit, and then I was thinking I'm golden, and just 
Yeah, <laughs> I was not. Oh, unfortunate. Alright, as a real, that's fine. I feel like you're not part water yet. You're, I think you're just like normal fairy, right? You know, what's happened when you become Meryl? All the baby Pokemon battling here. Feel kind of bad, just, um, you know. Beating children with baby Pokemon in battles just doesn't, it doesn't feel very, <laughs> you know. I don't feel very rewarded for this. <laughs> Alright, so that was the final preschooler. You can return to Penelope, the teacher, for your reward. Ooh, okay, what we got? Best be worth it. Yeah, you did it, thank you. And you tired them enough out too, so maybe they'll go down for a nap more easily too. That's an added bonus for me. I can get finally get some rest myself. Thanks for all your help. Here, place it. This is a thank you from me. Ooh, got a rare candy. Nice. Cool. And quest complete. Alright, so... Anything else we can do on this beach? There's lots of encounters around here, so I've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, yo. I'm waiting patiently for my son to finish daycare. Then we're going over to uh, Stonecrest City for a museum visit. Ooh, maybe I'll see you there. That's where we're going. Oh, that was a fast Pelipper. Ooh! An e Shellos. Should we get this? Just gonna get all the, uh, the regional stuff just in case they turn out to be really cool. Let's go Lick. Check the Paralysis. Nice. And I'll go for another Lick. Do a little bit of damage. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. And red HP. Paralyzed should be very easy to catch. I hope. Way. So what type are you? Dragon Water? Ooh. Okay. Now that could be pretty good. Uh, nothing down here. Got a Sandy Gas. Okie dokie. Yo, I want a battle. Okay. I just got done beating a bunch of kids, man. <laughs> I gotta beat some more. Oh, I feel so awful. Ooh, critical hit and the paralysis. Oh, you'd love to see it. Keep on going. One more lick. And Clamper, we're going to Cottony and we'll go for a Mega Drain. Good, good. I in defense. Yeah, you can defense up. It's all good. I'll take you out super easy. Mantike though. Uh, right, going to go into Drowsy. Not the best matchup here, but... Just want to do a little bit of damage. Just kind of do a little bit more, but it's fine. Uh, Froki, we will go... Lick. Paralyze it. Oh, we just lived. Got the paralysis, get paralyzed. Ah, oh, sucks. Bro, I need to heal up bad. We are very, very weak. And I don't think there's a Pokemon Center at this place. Which, if that's the case, I'm going to have to run back all the way to the starting town to go speak to our mum. Ouch, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, another peck. Ouch, please. Don't let Connie die. Alright, cool. So, uh, hi. Captain Blackbeard, my ship is docked for repairs. When I have it repaired up, I can offer you a ride over to Ocean View City. Oh, okay. So when we need to go to Ocean View City, we know how to get there. I'm assuming that kid's gonna want to battle. Don't really want to battle just yet because I'm so weak. Nice to see. Well, also, this game has the same sort of like shiny rate as uh, Reborn Rejuvenation, so it's likely we might encounter a shiny, but it's me, so encountering a shiny is very, very unlikely. I don't have the good shiny luck. Uh, hi. Why oh, you got Puccina just chilling here? Ah, uh, bad dog. Just went for a swim, and when I came back, I discovered my naughty Puccina went and buried a bunch of my stuff somewhere on the beach in the sand. Pretty managed to recover a few things, such as my beach towel, but it's also buried a few other things. My change of clothes, my car keys, and my bracelet. It's a bit hard to tell, but there's a little bit of kicked up sand from his attempt at burying my stuff. Any chance you could help me find my lost possessions somewhere on the beach? Yeah, sure, why not? Right, I'm missing three different items. My change of clothes, my car keys, and my bracelet. If you can recover those things and bring them back to me, I have a reward for you. Okay, cool. Nice. And, oh, got a Sandy Gas. Not Sandy Gas, Slowpoke. Can I run away? I can, sweet. 
Got the bracelet, just need the car keys now. And what was in the sand? It's a Pukumuku! Oh. I wish the encounter rate on the beach was a little bit lower. Oh, someone like run around, but there's so many Pokemon. Oh, dude, let me run away. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. And we're gonna have a Pokemon in the sand. I think the last little bit is to the right, so we should be fine. Oh, come on. Yeah, you shell off your cool and all. Already got you. <laughs> Alright, last little bit. Oh, I shall take you out for the HP. So I should be able to one shot you. Hey, and a critical hit. Look at that. Almost fully recovered. And got the car keys. Alright, so let's go and return for our reward. Like all these little side quest stuff, it's really nice. Right, go away, man. Do I have a repel? I feel like I might have one repel. Please say I do. I got one. Okay, I'll use that just to get this done. So have you managed to recover my lost possessions on the beach? Yes, those are it. My change of clothes, my car keys and my bracelet. Wonderful, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Do you save me an afternoon of searching for my stuff? Maybe if I had a boyfriend to go to the beach with and could monitor my Puccina while I was swimming, this wouldn't happen. Anyway, enough of that. Here's your reward. Ooh, five berries. Ooh, five more berries. Yeah, okay, cool. Not bad. So now we go through here. Uh, let me show you the encounters. Yeah, it's definitely a Staryu. Underneath the matchup. That's looking really interesting. I feel like a Starmie would look so cool. So if I find the Staryu, I'm definitely going to capture it. Uh, yo, have you put uh, that Rampage and Drowsy down yet? I was just hungry. Hmm, well I'm glad you were able to feed it and get it to calm down. Troll Pokemon such, such as those Drowsies can be very unpredictable, so it was tough to get close enough to uh, feed it in the first place. Now the cave is far more stable without a Troll Pokemon going and rampaging through here unchecked. Please take these for your trouble. Hey, okay. Ooh, Pokeballs. Hey, more treats, nice. Okay, so let me um get rid of this Repel real quick. And we're running around. So I want to try and find this star. I did have a little look before I started the episode off. But uh, to no luck. So maybe I can find one now. There you go. So I'll give it like maybe five, ten encounters. I, there you go. Hey, that looks so cool. I want that on the team. Come on, we've got a first try. I looked for like, I'd say 15, 20 encounters earlier before the episode. Couldn't find it. And then literally first encounter now. <laughs> oh, dude. Alright, let me go for a stun spore just to make it a little bit easier. I love the design of that, it just looks so cool. Come on, come on. Nice! What type are you? Rock Psychic, okay. Oh, I love the look of it. Oh, I should have done the team now. It's fine, it's fine. So now we want to go north. But I should probably get healed up first, unless we're very close. Hey, that's good. Stonecrest City, so we made it. Uh, where is the Pokemon Center? Got some berries I can steal. Damn it, now where did my garden tools go? Uh, I don't know. If we can find them, I'll bring them back to you, but let's get healed up. Well, let's change the team up a little bit, I think. All right. So, Staryu's definitely going on the team. Don't really want to use the Drowsy, sorry. Kind of want to try you out. Sorry, Connie. Like, I did want to use, like, a, a Whimsicott for this playthrough, but I didn't realise this game's going to have so many regionals, so, um, yeah, I kind of have to switch out. <laughs> oh, you're the question man. I should give you a prize if you can answer my series of questions. What do you say? Yeah, sure. I'll try. Which berry did the berry farmers upstairs not sell? Oh, I don't know. Rindo? Alright, so for the questions, the berry is Koala. And for the Pokemon Typin of Ducklet, it's Berry Flying, obviously, because we have one. And last but not least, the ability is Slack Off. For guessing correctly, you want a fabulous prize. Hey, we got a nugget. Sweet. Okay. So. We can, oh, you look really cool. The IV Master. I charge 1,000 to adjust the IVs of each Pokemon stats, or 6,000 if you want to change them all to the same amount. No, I'm good. Maybe later on. Egg Maniac, okay. 
It's an egg of a water type Pokemon. Okay, sure. Okay, free egg. Is there a box up here? There isn't. Uh, there's lots of things to do. I've got to speak like everyone. Berry farmer. And more berries. So let me just quickly make room for this egg. In case the egg is really cool. Sorry, Froakie. Oh. Like, uh, I'm likely gonna box my star. Like, Greninja's cool and all, but regional variants, so much cooler. Now, if all the stars had regional variants, oh, you better believe. Better believe I would uh, keep on the team. Wonder Trader. Okay, that's cool. And the Blissey Experience Trainer. I have six Blisses that you can use to train your Pokemon. Ooh, the charge per battle, though. Mmm. Name Raider and Move Deleter. Okay, so let me quickly do some grinding. I don't want to get too OP. So I'll get everyone to level like 15, I think would be a good level. What are you holding? Stardust. Cool. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so our Fletchling is evolving. Oh, evolution music sounds nice. That looks kind of cool. I love the color scheme. Yeah, I may have totally underestimated how much um, experience I was going to get. And uh, everyone is pretty strong after one battle. <laughs> I did not think I'd gain that much experience. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're probably a little bit OP. It's fine, it's fine. Happens. Uh... Yo, but at least I know now if I need to grind anything. Like, I thought, oh, I'll be just, like, chilling there for a little while to grind up. No, it's actually really, really quick to, um, to grind. So, uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> Alright, let's grab these berries. Grab all the berries. And don't replant nothing, because I'm a scumbag. I never replant berries. Alright, let's go explore. And see what we can find. Yeah, I didn't speak to you, did I? You can't fish here. Well, obviously, there's a big fence in the way, ain't there? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Let's go to this house first. Yo! Man, I'm out of shape. Thank goodness I have Machok to help me unpack all these boxes. Maybe that's why my wife left me. Oof. When my parents divorced and my dad and I moved here, I got an Eevee as a gift from my mother, but I can't train it while I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'll take an Eevee. Sweet. Uh, no, not yet. Surely with all like, the new regionals in this game, Eevee must have like a... Uh... There's music. I feel like I recognize it from another game, but anyway. It's got to have like new evolutions, right? Do you ever feel like you're being controlled by this mysterious force? Awkward. <laughs> My wife has been feeling these sensations like someone is controlling her. Personally, I think it's just menopause. I think that's too much information, thanks. Yeah, way too much information. Alright, let's go to this house. Uh, yo. Would you happen to have a polywag? I'd be willing to trade for my hound hour. I do not. I spent hours looking for a damned female combi, but I keep finding our males. No, it really shouldn't be a sexist here, but I want a Vespa Quinn, damn it. <laughs> Would you happen to have one? I unfortunately don't. Would you happen to have any poison type Pokemon? I'll give you a Snova in exchange. Uh, no, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, next house. A lot of trading going on, but we don't have anything to trade. Hey, would you mind giving me some help? My Lillipup has been bothering that nice lady near the south end of the city. All she does is give you berries, but my Lillipup keeps burying the tools she uses to plant the berry trees. Don't know where he may have buried it this time, but I'm sure he's, his stash still has to be in the city. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Alright, Lillipup stash. Where did you bury him? Have you heard of Emil? He's a hermit that lives in Stonecrest Woods. Here a long time ago, he was a strong Pokemon trainer. Ooh. That's someone I definitely want to battle. Oh. Bolty, what are you doing? Uh, have you gone to see Agent Spencer yet? Should know better by now not to piss off the agency. Go fulfill your mission. Okay, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. I need to snap. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, hi. Hey, would you mind giving me a hand? A hand handful of the street lights in the city have fused. I don't have any electric types on me, and it would save me a lot of time if you can go charge them up with an electric type. Yeah, sure. So there are four street lights on my job my job log today. Just click on each street light in the city and see if each one needs recharging or not. Okay. Right. 
Oh, there's one over here. Oh, out the way. Do I have to be from like, the front? Uh, I guess if nothing happens, it doesn't need recharging. This one does. That's one. And we can also try to find the buried um, stash as well. That one doesn't need anything. It's got to be here. Hey! So we've got the tools. Any more lampposts up here? Nope. I like this game, so there's, a lot, there's a lot to do. Oh, another one. Sweet, that's two. There's things to keep you occupied before you do the main mission stuff. Did I do these ones already? I think I might have done. Don't want to lose track of which ones I have and haven't done. Uh, if I can get behind there. How do I get behind here? All the way around. Wait, no. Yes, okay, there you go. So that's free. All right, so I think there is one here. It's got to be the last one, surely, right? Hey, that's all four. So now we can hand the quests in. Stonecrest Woods has lots of bug and grass type Pokemon. There's also the occasional flying type in there too. Sweet, all right. So the museum is just to the left. I'm assuming that, that building to the left is the museum. So please let me give you this as a token of my gratitude. Hey, heart scale. Thank you very much. And 500 gold. Ooh, love my gold. And it was this house for the side quest, right? Yeah. I did find the stash. Come to think of it, I've definitely seen the berry lady using this to water our plants. This must be it. Little pup, when will you ever learn? <laughs> Thanks for returning this. I'll take care of giving this back to the berry lady and apologize again for my rascal little pup. Please take this for your trouble. Oh, a leaf stone. Nice. Very nice. Do I go in here? Yeah. All right, so now uh, let's go to the museum and see what our assignment is. Hi, are you the person? I'm hungry. I wish this place had a cafeteria. Oh, hello. Agent Voltsy, it's about time you got here. Sorry, I had a few errands to run, but I have some disturbing news to share based on my recent field activity. There have been Pokemon attacks recently in the area. We previously thought these attacks were just at random, one off. However, they have been increasing in intensity and frequency. Following some investigation, we believe there is some sort of supernatural disturbance that is affecting the Pokemon in the region, is enticing them to attack. The museum was most recently impacted. If you've spoken to the guard by now, he will have already told you that the basement was flooded during the last attack. That's a lie. The guard is one of our wards now. We uh, subjugated him using our sleeper technology. He's preventing civilians from wandering in because he thinks, it, thinks it's because the museum was flooded. Little does he know we've set up a base down below. Simply say the password sleeper to him and that will trigger our sub uh, subjugation on him, thereby, thereby providing you access to our basement. I'll meet you downstairs. Ooh, okay, cool. Anything else in here though? Maybe get like some free stuff. Uh, it's always a treat to get in, I get to take my grandson out exploring. I love the museum. Ooh, never seen some kid so excited for a museum. <laughs> Ooh, sandstorm, thank you very much. All right, so let's speak to not used to guard, they said, right? So this person. Uh, and it's this, this one. The password is sleeper. All hail the agency. Hey. Good. We're in a secure location now. I'm just going to say, whenever like a group say all hail, insert group name, it's never a good thing. Never a good sign. Makes me think we're the bad guys, but good. We're in a secure location now. As I said earlier, the Pokemon attacks are getting more intense. We will trace the origin of the attacks from Stonecrest Woods. Our scientists have said that when the Pokemon attacks occurred, an energy flare was recorded in Stonecrest Woods shortly beforehand. Don't know who or what may have caused the energy flare, but the following attack was uncharacteristic of the Pokemon in the woods. The events must have been correlated. There is an individual by the name of Emil Liano. He is a hermit that lives in the woods. Your next mission is to go to the Stonecrest Woods and interrogate this individual to see what he knows. He might have some intel to inform us on our next steps. For now, we can take comfort in knowing that the attacks have not reoccurred. Um, but our organization is not one to leave things to chance. I have a question. Why are we bothering to investigate a small, isolated Pokemon attack on a nearby town in this timeline? Um, why are we doing the jobs of local authorities? Ah, 37A. Always the inquisitive one. Before I answer the question, I need to challenge you to a battle to verify that you have even prepared for what comes next. 
Do you really think our agency would just disclose the need to know mission critical information to agents that we didn't believe were ready to be field tested in such a manner? Now prepare yourself. Okay, bring it on, Spencer. Level 10? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely, um, prepared. Maybe a bit too prepared. <laughs> and a Pidgey? Okay. Nice. Easy. Impressive recruit. Seems you'll be fine in Stonecrest Woods. Well, to answer your question, we'd been studying an infrared signature coming from Stonecrest Woods. There is no technology from this timeline that we are aware of that could be capable of producing such a persistent signature. Any technology that emits such kind of energy could be lethal in the hands of individuals from this timeline if they come to learn of its latent power. We need to reclaim whatever this technology is that is producing such energy to prevent it from being misused. We'll also install this app on your pocket gear so you can shake specific types of trees in Stonecrest Woods. It can go in handy. Ooh, mini Don fan app. Hey, I like that. Now, you have your orders, move out. Okay, boss. You got it. Well, let's go to the woods. Which we know is just up here. Alright. Stonecrest Woods. Uh, hi. Please, I've been worried sick. My daughter, Sarah, went out to Stonecrest Woods to play. She would have been back by now. I'm worried something may have happened. Can I please ask that you go into Stonecrest Woods to find her? Yeah, sure. Oh, look. Hey, I was hoping this would be a double battle fight just got in the middle of you two. So let's do this. Oddish and a Badoo. Okie dokie. And we'll go for a wing attack and a twister. Oh, stun spore sucks. Right. Wing attack and twister. Just wing attack and twister everything. Never stun spore. Great. <laughs> oh, this sucks. It's fine, it's fine. Not like I'm gonna lose. We are super OP. And I got flinched. Great. This is fine, this is fine. Got flinched. Great. So I'm not gonna lose. Might end up losing here. <laughs> Come on, get through. Alright, that was Sprout gone. And level 20. And flinched again. Dude! How many flinches do you want to get? So it's like three in a row. And power oh, double paralysis, dude. Come on. You're being so mean. I need to get healed up now. And it's not over yet? I thought that was the last one. Okay. Right, so let me check what encounters we can get in here first. Anything look cool? Uh. Oh my god, I forgot that Pokemon existed. Oh, you get a Psyduck. And a Bronzor. Bronzor actually looks kind of cool. Ooh! You get a Trico and a, um... Elkid? Elkid, maybe? That's gotta be Elkid, right? That looks really cool. That's at night time. So... Does this game run off um, the PC clock? Because if it does, I will change the time of day and I will make it night time. So hopefully I can find that Trico and potential L kid. All right, let me just change the clock and I'll see you guys in a sec. Yeah, okay, so the time runs off the PC clock. So I've changed it to night time. Let's hope we can find this Trico and L kid. All right, first encounter, can we get lucky? Hey, let's go, that actually looks so sick. That probably has to go on the team, right? It looks too good. Hey, right off the bat, one Pokeball. So the Bug Dragon. Oh, that looks so cool. Sorry, Shellus, but you might have to get replaced. Glory if this egg to hatch as well. Does the egg look any different or is it like a normal egg? Ooh. Is it a water type, right? It kind of reminds me of Remoraid, the egg. Let's battle you. Get ready for a double battle. Hey, nice. I like double battles. Let's go. Try some Venonat. That's fine. I am going to Wing Attack and Twister. Let's 
sneeze in a second. I feel like coming. Oh, I'm sorry. Why do I always sneeze, man? I feel like I'm allergic to recording. Like, I don't sneeze often. But every time I record... Nope, okay, it's not coming, it's not coming. Maybe. I feel like every time I record, it just... Just comes. Maybe it's because I'm talking a lot more. Focusing on the light, I don't know. Something's making me sneeze when I record. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Alright, so what's this? This is uh, his house, okay. Uh, ooh. Paralyzed heal, nice. Hey yo! Excuse me, who are you? And what are you doing barging into my home? Coming to finish me off, have you? You won't get the better of me this time. Oh, we'll see about that. Soul Keeper, ooh. Liking the music as well. Okay. Let's go wing attack. Nightshade, that's, that's fine, that's fine. So far, so good. Show me some cool Pokemon, Rosalia. Now a wing attack. Hey. I think if... Even if I got to level 15, that probably would have been... A little bit too OP. I think like 13, 14 coming into here would be a good level. That's all good. You got Lemonade. Okay, I see, I see. One more to summon Voyage. We'll finish you off. Also, someone said like I need to... Um, Get some X stuff, like X items really help in the post game, because the post game's really difficult. Which, uh, yeah, if I do get fight. Ooh, E Poplio! If I do find some X items, I'll hold on to him and. It's green! That's gonna be grass type, right? Oh, spiky shield. It's gonna hurt. Ouch. So, grass type Poplio. Oh, I wanna see the final evolutions. Just look, it looks like it's just turned like to the Incredible Hulk. I mean, so far, the Trico at the start is, looks the best. Best bit Quinn. Mm, didn't do as much as I was hoping it would do, but it's all good. Right, who's going to finish you off? Let's go Staryu. I love this slight Staryu. It looks so cool. So I think so far of all the, uh, the regionals, this Staryu is my favorite. Cannot wait to see what a... Uh, okay. <laughs> Can't wait to see what a um, Star Me looks like. Let's go Spark to finish you off. Nice. And Cherim. Oh, we can stay in. Wing attack. Wait. Nice. Wait, you don't look like the person that attacked me last week. Good. Apologies for assaulting you. So quite all right. Normally I will entertain the occasional trainer who wants to challenge me. There seems to be some fascination or some rumor in the city about me. So I constantly have a stream of these uh, trainers trespassing on my damn property. I would normally battle you under one, under more controlled circumstances. However, you burst into my home to surprise me. You ever heard of knocking? Nope. In any case, you beat me fair and square, so I suppose I owe you this TM. Hey, struggle bug, nice. I panicked because I'm a bit jumpy of late. You see, a couple of days ago when I was, when I went into the city to restock on some supplies, I was attacked by a mysterious assailant. He took a, a precious relic of mine, a soul stone. It's an heirloom that has uh, been passed down to my family for gen generations. When he accosted me, he also stole some of my partner, partner Pokemon. Oh no, the strange thing is that he said he knew who I was, Soul Keeper. I've not heard anyone call me by my family's title outside of my family, who have now long since passed away. So let's just say you're lucky I didn't exactly have a A-team with me during our fight. Can you help me find my Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Following the attack, I was con uh, concerned whether all the stories I'd been told by my family about being a Soul Keeper were true. My grandfather told me our family hailed from a line of ancient royalty and known as Soul Keepers. We had some grand purpose. The relics that uh, we held, the Soul Stones, were powerful objects that could influence the Pokemon around you. Never paid much attention to my grandfather's stories, but have you heard about the recent attacks on the city? I might live in the woods, but I do have the internet to see uh, when the nearby city gets attacked. The assholes in the city call me a hermit or a weirdo. I'd prefer nature, that's all. Can't be a coincidence that a mysterious assailant who knew my history as a descendant of the Soul Keepers stole my family heirloom. Felt like I was being followed and I let my guard down and that's when he attacked. No sooner after I am relieved of my Soul Stones, an energy flare is recorded from the woods and shortly thereafter, the city gets attacked. My guess is if the energy flare came from the woods, my Soul Stone and that assailant are still in the woods somewhere. Okay. Well, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. I'm gonna look for the 
potential L kid off screen unless we can find it right now. No. I'm gonna get healed up as well. So next episode, we try and find the soul stone and get it back. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.